Hello guys, this is Mauro from Primfotech.com and on this video we'll be looking at the new features and changes included on the uh, Windows 10 build 16.184 and all the releases such as build 16.179, 16.176 and 16.170. These new test versions of Windows 10 are part of the uh, Redstone 3 update expected to release in September 2017. So let's have a closer look at the most worthy changes in these past builds. So let me start with the uh, start menu. Pretty much everything is, is still the same here. The only new thing we're going to see is now when you hover over to uh, get to the uh, scroll bar. Now we're going to see the new design that Microsoft is using on the uh, on the settings up. And when you right click a tile, now we're going to see a new icon uh, to turn uh, for the option turn light tile on or off. Perhaps the biggest addition so far for the uh, next version of Windows 10 is the uh, My People app. If you're running the uh, build 16184 or later, now you're going to see the uh, uh, My People icon on the uh, taskbar. When you click it, you can sign in with your Microsoft account so you can access the, uh, the new experience. Uh, just to be clear, this is not a communication app instead of uh, it's an experience that it allows you to connect other apps so you can text and send files with other people but using a unified user interface so for example and if i go to apps now i have connected uh, people skype and mail so let's say if i want to, to connect to uh, to a person on my contact list i just click that person and that will open the experience. And you can click the, uh, the app that uh, you want to uh, connect with this, uh, with this person. In this case, I'm just going to uh, click Skype. And here, as you can see, you have a similar experience that you get on the uh, Skype app. So you can just type and send your message. And if you want to switch apps, just click this button on the top. And that will take me, in this case, to the uh, uh, to the People app. And let me see what else we have. Uh, so if you're using, for example, let me go back and let's use Skype. If I was using Skype to connect with this person through the uh, my people feature but I wanted to uh, just use the Skype app I can just click the uh, menu button right here on the top right and you can see the options that you can uh, unpin from the taskbar or pin it to the taskbar edit the contact or launch uh, this experience on on a Skype so and that's basically what it is it's just a unified uh, experience where you can connect uh, instead of just using a bunch of um, other apps you can just use one experience to connect to uh, to connect with people and send files and stuff like that also if you start using the uh, Skype app instead of a mail or other app uh, the uh, my people feature will always remember uh, the app you use so when you come back and you need to talk to somebody I mean just uh, send a message to, to anyone your contacts it will always use the last uh, app that uh, you use to uh, connect with the uh, other person right now you can only uh, you can also ping your your contacts uh, to the taskbar uh, but you can only ping up to uh, three people right now and for some reason that is not working for me so let's see if I if I wanted to pin this. It's already showing that it's a pin, but it's not. So this is still under development. So it's um, I suspected it's not going to be working as as expected. Uh, you can also click the uh, see more here uh, menu to access uh, different settings as well. And that's pretty much how this how my people right now looks like and works on the uh, upcoming version of Windows 10. Let me see, it's, this is not working. I'm just 
going to restart Windows Explorer and see if that fixes the uh, taskbar. All right, so we're back. And the uh, file explorer looks pretty much the same as before, but now when we go to share, now you're going to see that we get the uh, uh, the share icon that now we're seeing throughout uh, apps and even on Microsoft Edge. Okay, so now let's jump into the uh, settings up because there are a few new improvements that are included on these past few builds. And if we go to network and internet, and then we go to uh, Wi-Fi, and then we go to manage known networks. Now we're going to see that we have a new search box that allows you to uh, search through uh, the list of uh, known networks on your computer. And you can even sort them by preference, uh, name or source. Or you can use uh, the filter to just show the ones they have like uh, the ones that are open, secure, suggested, and you can also use the uh, network provider or company policy. It just makes it a little bit easier to manage your known networks on on your computer. On personalization, now when we go to start, Microsoft decided that uh, we used to have a preview of the uh, theme that you like, this kind of preview used to be on start, but because it doesn't bring any uh, benefits to have that, Microsoft removed it. So now we only have the options uh, available for start, but nothing else is new here. So on the next version of Windows 10, you're not going to see that theme preview anymore. If we go to taskbar, now we're going to see at the bottom of the page that we have a new option that is called people and when you enable and disable this it will turn on and off uh, my people right here on the on the taskbar and in addition to that you can even right click the taskbar and go to toolbars and just click uh, the people to um, show or remove that feature on on the taskbar but right now that isn't working let me show you right now that if you do that, it's, it's not doing anything. That's expected because these features, it's un, still under development. But if you need to turn this off, you just click the toggle switch. As you can see, it will disappear. And it just take a lot of time to turn off. And let me see if I can turn it back on. Well, it seems that now it just broke that feature. Oh, there it is. It came back. But as you can see, it's not working right now. I'm trying to click it and it won't open. On ECO of Access, now when we go to Magnifier, now we're going to see um, an updated page where you have a number of new uh, changes. Uh, for example, now you can control the magnification zoom level. You can click more or less. You can just do that really easy right here. And uh, some of the options that you used to see before, you're still going to see it. Like this one, it started the magnifier automatically at login and invert colors. But now we also have a drop down menu so you can choose the uh, uh, the zoom for uh, the zoom increment levels that you want to use. And of course, you also get a new tracking options. Uh, uh, two of these were already included on Windows 10, but now we get a we get two more. So in total, you have the uh, follow uh, the mouse cursor and follow the keyboard focus. And also we have the uh, have a magnifier follow the uh, text insertion point and follow the narrator cursor. Also at the bottom of the page, we're also going to see the uh, keyboard shortcuts that you can use using the magnifier. And you can click the uh, show all shortcuts to view all the shortcuts. And this is pretty much all the shortcuts that you can use uh, using the magnifier. So that's pretty much what's, uh, what's been updated on the settings up for this uh, new version of Windows 10. Also, in these past builds, Windows 10 is introducing a new feature called Power Throttling, which is just a new way to better utilize the uh, power consumption on tablets and laptops. And Microsoft is expecting up to 11% of improvements on battery life. Alongside the new improvements, we're going to see an updated version of the uh, Maps app 
for Windows 10 that includes some of the uh, new changes that we're going to be seeing on the upcoming version of uh, Windows 10 uh, which is known as a uh, project neon that it that it adds a uh, new blur blur effect and and streamlines the design of apps and it should make a uh, um, uh, Windows 10 look a little bit nicer as you can see now we have um, the new look on the uh, on the toolbar and on the search results when you using the um, uh, the maps app uh, well this is new for the maps app on Windows 10 you can already if you're already running the uh, Windows 10 Creator update you can see these uh, new changes on the uh, movies and TV apps and group music and that's pretty much what Microsoft been working on for the uh, next version of Windows 10 we're expecting even more features and changes uh, coming on future builds remember to like the video uh, share the video leave your comments and I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.